Hi everyone. In this lesson we'll be looking at the everyday life and leisure activities of the ancient people of Pompeii. And once again, I think that it's quite surprising some of the leisure activities that they had because they're very similar to what we do today. Now these people lived 2000 years ago and they didn't have technology like we do today. They didn't have electricity and TV and computers, but they did have many other activities that were similar to what we do today. The city of Pompeii provided many venues for the people to enjoy their le leisure time. These included the amphitheater, the theatres, the palestra and the baths. The most popular form of entertainment were the blood sports held in the amphitheater. It was the biggest building in Pompeii. It could, could accommodate about 15,000 to 20,000 people, which is what the population of Pompeii is believed to be. And over here, we can actually see a picture of the amphitheater. So you can imagine some activities going on in there and people sitting around and watching it. This is a time when there was no TV, no computers, no radio, but they'll still go to the, the, the amphitheater and watch different events. There were different types of blood sports performed in the amphitheater, such as boxing, gladiator combats, and wild beast shows. They also had theatres. There were two theatres in Pompeii. The large theatre seated around 5,000 people. Plays were performed in the large theatre. The small theatre was like a concert hall. In this picture, you can see the theatre, and over here, they actually had the palestra, the large exercise ground over there. But there's the theatre there. You can imagine people sitting around watching a performance. It was The small theatre was used for concerts, lectures and poetry readings. So isn't that interesting? People might go to the cinema today and watch a film. In ancient Pompeii, you might go to the theatre and listen to a poetry reading. The palestra was a form of public gymnasium or exercise ground. Men and youths exercised and practiced sports, such as running, discus, wrestling, and swimming. And a discus is where you, you, know, you throw something which is like a disc. The large palestra in Pompeii was built during the time of Augustus. Augustus was the first emperor of ancient Rome and he's considered to be their greatest emperor. He ruled for about 40 years. Here we can see the palestra and over here was the theatre. So the palestra is there and the theatre we just saw would have been over here. So you can see it's a large open space. And if you're a tourist and you want to go to Pompeii, you can actually enter through here. I actually went to Pompeii and I went on a tour of the city and I entered through the entrance here and we walked around here with my tour group and then we went out and went into the theatre. So I've actually been there and walked around this area and I took some photos and so on and um, it was quite a nice experience to be there. Now this palestra was 140 metres by 130 metres. Now to put that in perspective, a football field today is about 100 metres. So this was a bit larger than a football field and wider than a football field, longer and wider than a football field. It had a large swimming pool as well. Graffiti from the palestra indicates this was the home of the Juventus. The Juventus was a, a youth group. There were four public baths in Pompeii. Typically, the baths included four parts, a change room, a podaterium, a hot bath, the caldarium, a warm steam room, tepidarium, and a cold bath, the frigidarium. Now, the baths were a very popular place to go across the ancient Roman world. And it's said that the ancient Romans were the cleanest people in the ancient world because they loved going to the baths. And when you went to the baths, it was partly a hygiene thing. I mean, you would go there and be washed and cleaned and so on, but it was also a great place to socialise. It was a great place to relax. 
It was a, a place to do a lot of activities. There might be music playing, there might be poetry readings, uh, you could have a massage, uh, you could sit with a, a business partner and do a business deal. Uh, it was a great place and there was, there was hot baths, cold baths. Uh, they usually had different times for men and women, so the men and women wouldn't normally go together. And I, I find that very interesting because even today in Australia, men and women can go to a public pool together, men and women can go to the beach together. But in ancient Pompeii, the men and women wouldn't normally go to the baths together. But it was a very popular place to go in the ancient Roman world, not just in Pompeii, but all over the ancient Roman world, baths were very popular. After a bath, people could have a massage and at the Stabian and Forum Baths in Pompeii, separate provisions were made for men and women. Over 1,000 oil lamps were found at the Stabian Baths, suggesting that they were open at night. Isn't that interesting? I find that amazing that uh, you know, even at night time, they'd, they'd go to the baths and they'd have some oil lamps to provide light, light for themselves. Drinking and gambling were also very popular in Pompeii and I think in Australia today, they're also very popular. So it's quite amazing that in 2000 years, human nature hasn't seemed to have changed that much. 2000 years ago in Pompeii, people liked drinking and gambling. 2000 years later in Australia, people still like drinking and gambling. The number of taverns and bars shows that drinking was a popular pastime, especially for men. Gambling was also a popular pastime and even took place at the baths. Dice games were also common. So as you can see, there was lots of different forms of entertainment in ancient Pompeii and the baths were particularly popular and you know they would go there to clean themselves and so on. That they didn't have um, a bath in their house. Most people didn't have a bath in their house like people do today. So they'd go to the baths to get clean and a lot of people, would, most people would go to the baths each day. But you can see uh, these days we don't really have baths anymore, like a bathhouse like the ancient Romans. Most people just wash at home. But you can see they had many similar activities to what we have today, except we have more technology. We might go to the cinema and watch a movie. We might not watch the theatre so much. But you can see it was quite an interesting place to live and there was a wide variety of different uh, leisure activities in Pompeii. It seems like a nice place to go, doesn't it? Mm -hmm.